Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we, te well, lunchtime with Heavy Cardboard, where <laughs> we focus on thinky fillers. So welcome, everybody. Today, we are happy to be bringing y'all Dust in the Wings, designed by Dennis Kerps, Christian Crutchin, and Jean-Claude Pellin, and published by our friends over at Board and Dice. So welcome, everybody watching live around the world, as well as after the fact. I'm your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by my partner and a really good friend. I'm Jess. I'm Martin. All right, so here we go. Dust in the wings. It's a pretty thinky filler about uh, about butterflies and meadows and taking pictures in theory. Basically, here's what it is. Imagine the main core mechanism in Istanbul, five tribes, and Mancala. Yeah, uh, is it a? Is it? Yeah, is that what it is? Okay, it's that mechanism <laughs> with a little bit of recipe fulfillment boiled down to its core. That's essentially what it is. Before we get started, a big thanks to all of our patrons. No special shout outs today, just a big thank you to all of y'all out there that choose to support the show and make all of this possible. So thank you very, very much. I'm gonna bring the chat down, I'm gonna bring the cameras down. Uh, it's gonna be a very short teach because it's not a super involved game rules wise. So y'all ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all yeah. right, let's go ahead and get into dust in the way, oh. You should talk about the pun. Dust in the wings. Oh, all we are is dust in the wings, yeah. <laughs> one other thing. Uh, so one of the main guys over at Board and Dice is having a birthday today, coincidentally. So yes. fill up. Happy birthday if you're watching this or if you're currently drunk over in Poland. No. That's okay. No, no, I'm just messing. He's a good friend of Celebrate ours. Celebrate well. Really nice guy. Have a good time. And if you ever go to conventions and you see the guy in the Pac-Man sport coat, that's Philip. So there you and go. And a hat. He and, yeah, he does always wear the hat as well. So happy birthday, <laughs> Philip. So dust in the wings. A beautiful meadow full of flowers and butterflies lies before you. With your camera in hand, you begin to look for places where butterflies convene, hoping to create the most captivating image. So the goal of the game is to skillfully arrange butterflies and take the most stunning photos in order to achieve the highest score at the end of the game. On a player's turn, you're going to select one group of butterflies and disperse them in a contiguous path on the board, allowing you to score either a gathering card or a composition card, possibly both, depending on which version of the game you're playing. Once all the scoring crystals are claimed, Count the score, see whose photos are the most beautiful, thereby crowning the winner of the game. So what you guys are looking at here is the main board here, the meadow, is a five by five grid with three different types or colors of butterflies as you can see here on the board. Now behind each of these butterflies are a couple of flowers. This strictly is for setup to show how many random butterflies will be in each of the grid locations. Other than that, there is no limit nor any minimum to the number of butterflies that can be on a specific grid. There could be zero up to however many are possible in the game. Along the top, we have gathering cards, which are kind of recipe fulfillment cards, or one type of them with various colors of crystals on them, which are worth points at the end of the game. Then along the right side, we have composition cards, which also are going to be a form of recipe fulfillment and victory points as shown on the top of the card. The butterflies were randomly distributed, as you can see, and inside the bag are a number of both clear crystals as well as dark crystals, not to be confused with the dark crystal. So how do you play the game? Well, it's going to be a indeterminate number of player turns going around clockwise around the board and each player turn consists of the same three steps. There is dispersion, scoring, and then renewal. So the first step, dispersion, is the main Me mechanism within the game. You're going to choose a single grid space or a single spot on the meadow and take all of those butterflies and in a contiguous orthogonally adjacent path 
drop off one butterfly to a space. So for instance, I could take these three here and go drop them off one, two, three. I could go one, two, three. I could go one, two, three. However I wish to do so, all of them dropping off one as you go. The final space in which you place your last butterfly is going to be the space in which you will be able to claim one of these cards. But before I go into that real quick, a couple of other little rules for moving the butterflies or dispersing the butterflies. First and foremost, everything in this game is orthogonally adjacent, meaning no diagonals. So you cannot go from here to there, for instance. Also, you may not immediately return to a space or reverse course or go backwards immediately. So if I were to take these three and place one, I cannot immediately come back there, two, and then go three. If there were four or more in this space, what I can do, however, is go one, two, three, four, five, or five, or however I wish to do so. Does that make sense? Yes. You just immediately cannot reverse course. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay? All right. As I said, wherever you place your last butterfly, you then can claim one of the six cards out here. The top ones being gathering. So we'll talk about those first. The gathering cards are a specific exact grouping of butterflies. So for instance, let's take a look at this one. It shows two red and one blue butterfly. For instance, that is right here. If I were to take this one red butterfly and place it over here, I now have three red and one blue. That is not two red and one blue, even though it consists of that. Right. Therefore, I cannot claim that card. That, is that clear? Yep. Yes. All right. However, what I can do is I could take this one yellow, move it up to this space, and now we have three yellow and one blue, and I would immediately be able to claim that card, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, easy enough. Yes. There may be instances where you would satisfy multiple cards, be it gathering cards or composition cards. You are only allowed to claim one card on a given turn. So speaking of those composition cards, let's go ahead and talk about what those are. So the number of victory points when you claim those is shown on the top. But other than that, the actual composition of what is required is shown on the card. So the first one says that in this grouping, there must be equal to or less than that number of butterflies, okay? So in other words, in a grid of four, anywhere on the board could be these four, could be these four, however, there must be a total of three or less within that group to be able to claim it. And remember, it must also be where that last butterfly was placed, okay, to be able to claim that card. So when that happens, good to go. The next one is the exact opposite of that. There must be at least 13, if not more, in a uh, shape like that. However, you can orient that shape however you wish. Right. So even though it shows a shape like so, it could be these three, it could be those three, it could right. be these three, however you want, but it must be in that shape, but in any orientation. Right. Okay. In addition to that, the last one is here. And that is that every space within that group must contain the same number of butterflies exactly. So in it, uh, to a minimum of one. So it can't be four empty spaces, but it could go two, 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 or two, 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 anywhere in any alignment that is in that shape, mm -hmm. whether it's horizontal or vertical. But again, the last butterfly must have been placed within those four spaces that you're trying to show, hey, we have the same amount in there. Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. So those are the different types of cards that are in the game that we're going to be claiming. Now, I should also point out those scoring crystals. The scoring crystals are the dark crystals, and these are randomly drawn out from the bag, which I will talk about momentarily. Those dark crystals are worth one point each. The clear crystals are worth two points a piece. So after the second step, which is possibly scoring one of those cards, we go into renewal. If one of those cards were taken, we immediately then refill at that point on your turn. And then at that point, if any of the gathering cards have three crystals on them, we 
discard that card, put those crystals back into the bag, and then we draw one new crystal randomly for each of the three gathering cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, next player takes their turn. We continue until the cloth bag is empty of crystals. At that point, the next player will take the will be the final turn. So when the last crystal is placed, the next player clockwise will take their turn. Then everybody calculates your score. Whoever has the most points wins. And that is how you play Dust in the Wings. Now there is a variant, an advanced variant, if you so desire. We are not going to play with it today. However, it does two small changes in a three or four player game. The first one is you're allowed to score one gathering card and one composition card given that you meet the requirements and the last space that you placed a butterfly is legit yeah, scores both. both. You cannot score two, nor can you score two. It's one and one at max. And the last adjustment is only if you score or claim a gathering card do new crystals come out and get placed onto the board. However, we're not gonna play it that way. Today, we're just gonna play the base variant or the base rules, the family style, if you will. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Any questions? No. Nope. All right, easy enough. Yep. Cool, all right. So that said, let us uh, let me bring up the uh, chat and uh, you have Schwazi or I the have equivalent. An equivalent, yep. All right, and I will bring up the cameras. And Mandy, we'll get that taken care of after the stream today. Here we go. All right, Jess. So all that matters for that is to show who was the first player, which technically you don't even really have to track. There we go. Cool. All right. All right. Sorry, I wasn't looking at this at all. You, I mean, there's so I, I, I would ask that we don't do that. Oh, but go ahead, you no, no, can. That's fine. That's fine. That's I'm fine. good. I'm good. That's fine. Um, hmm. I don't want that. I'll be honest. I never knew that it was called the Mancala mechanism. I like. I, I know what a Mancala is, but that's the, it, that was the original iteration of it. I guess I mean, that makes sense because that's like Trajan, mm. right? It's so been yeah, Trajan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off. Right. Yeah. Mancala has been around. It makes sense. So. Yeah. Mm. It's one of the many games in Trajan. <laughs> yeah, right. Seriously. Mm. Oh. I'll go ahead and take the obvious. That's fine. Mm. The one I showed. I <laughs> am not trying to. I'm just looking for a path. Sorry, I should have been doing this before, but I did not. So I need a moment. No. No. Oh. No. I thought there'd be more puns today. I'm gonna Sorry. Put that out there. All we are is dust and wings. <laughs> mm -hmm. So how many of y'all have heard of this game up at, before it was announced here uh, at the Weekly Look Ahead? You hadn't, Martin? I had not come across it. Well, actually, you mentioned it ages ago. I oh, did you run into it at the gathering? Yeah, no, uh, at Gamma. At Gamma. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, and then I forgot about it. Oh, because you mentioned it before we were supposed to talk about it publicly. Yeah, because you yep, showed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I showed it. Right, I showed yes. the local group right because you guys have to play it right and right. stuff. So yeah, that makes sense. I just saw a thing. Okay, so there's two. So I still and it has to be the last. It one has now. to be the mm. last one. Mm -hmm. Correct. All right. Yes, go Rob. I will target the yellow butterflies. All right. There we so are. Still does that. All didn't, right. didn't steal your idea. That's fine. So she claims that card. Middle one. Okay. And the crystal. So the card just goes away. She takes the crystal. That's all that right. matters. Okay. There we go. We refill the card and we put one new crystal on each card. Oh, one on each. Okay. Yep. yep. And then when it's full, if it's not claimed, it gets Very discarded. Nice. There we go. And the crystals go back into the bag. Okay. And remember that the clear crystals are worth two points apiece. Okay, doke. For some reason, I feel like the dark ones should be two, but they're not because there's less they're clear ones. They're not refined. Ones. The right. clear are, ref are like the refined right. gems. There we go. It's like diamonds. All right. Yeah, yeah that's hard it. to see. I can't do it. What is my move? I'm going to go. Board and dice, One, technically, Garrett. Two, three, and that's four, two in a row. Yep, uh, checks out. Yes, yep. sir. Yep. There we go. 
All right, now I have a hard time remembering greater than and less than. It's it's the supposed to be the alligator the eats one. the bigger one. I know that. Yes. He's saving the little well, just dessert. Think the, the greatest ones further apart. That's the way I think of it. Bigger space. Does that okay. help? Okay. No, I, not yeah. anyway, still not working. This so seventeen or more in a that Tetris shape, right? Okay. Yeah. They actually also color coded it. So green is greater than and red is less than. Oh, oh yeah. there's that. I didn't notice that. Okay. All right. Some of us are uh, uh, terminology challenged, apparently. Um, I too had not <laughs> you scoped had this that. out. Um, hmm. Four, huh? One, two. Nope, that doesn't work. Well, the move you did have has been, has been yeah, I know. swiped by I know. Jess indirectly. But it was very well done because you can actually imitate the move. You did it a different way around. Way. So we want. A clear crystal, so three blue and a red, if at all possible. Uh, uh, I don't think it can be done. I, I didn't spot one. don't see that as... Because you need to have a three I blues need to have two five in a, a space for that to work, and that's not going to happen. So, I will try and do the other one, which is two red and a blue. And we will go one. I did that backwards, I'm sorry. It's this one, not backwards, but one, two, three, two red and a blue, boom, there. Crystal? Yeah, there we go. So the crystals are a little hard to see, I get, but uh, it's like Jess has one. We what? could find a thing to stick under it. You know what? I wonder. Stick it on there. Does that show? Yeah, there you go, sort of. There we go. So All your right. first card. If possible. And then there just we go. load it up. Okay. Cool. There we go. So we have a square with less or equal to three. Oh, sorry about that, guys. There you That's go. That's going to be tricky. Um, hmm. Okay, good. Content consumer has gotten lunch. All is well. That's better. Yeah, That's right, a good, good thing to all have right. happen. Um, or we can do that shape with greater than 13, goodness. Or equal to 13 if you prefer. 14, uh, 15, no, four, six. I see 12. Right? Um, three, six, I see nine, I see 12. I see 12 possible. Now you can't get to 13 that I can see, but there might be a way that you could do it that I'm not seeing. Hmm. Okay. And then dr, 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 greater than 17. That's a lot. All right. Not happening there. So. Hmm. And that equal to or less than three is trickier than it looks. Like, I'm trying, looking at right. these four, mm. and I'm like, one, two, yeah, it has to, oh, but then that You're one, outside, ah, yes. yeah, so yeah, <laughs> there's that. So yep. remember, this one will go away if you don't claim it. I'm trying, but I don't. Oh, I don't think there's a way to get that. No. Uh, hmm. Because I was looking the previous time where my go was on, and I just couldn't okay. see a way of getting there. I didn't. Well, all I ask is you do something that helps me. Right? Please. There's all, I mean, that's the thing, is you try to get things not to help you. Chicken wrap with macaroni salad. I like macaroni salad. Small doses. Once in a while. Mm. Big fan. Oh, if there were only three in there. I had some of Cindy's vegetarian chili. She did How was really it? good vegetarian. Oh, she well, really I guess it's awesome vegetarian I mean, chili. There's yeah. that. No. Okay, so none of that do I see. Yeah, well, she'd experimented with this bean thing that was an experiment and it was an experiment where the output was we learned from the experiment well <laughs> but then she reconstituted it into it into a chili and it worked really well okay well so nothing that. was wasted all right i guess i'm going for the cheap one that's a yellow and red right uh You know the one bad thing about having the camera in the center of the table? J-Rex has short arms. So yellow and red. There you go. That's all I could see. Claim that one for me. Okay. 
because of short arms. Yep. So this gets discarded. Yep, those go back into the bag, back then in the bag. draw a new card. And we draw a new card to replace it. And three new crystals. And three new crystals. There we go. That's an enticing one. So we've got one of each. That would be great, but it's the same problem as before, and Jess has not opened up the I space to be friendly with that, which mm -hmm. was annoying. So then a red and a blue would give me a, um, a two-pointer, which is probably the best I'm going to get. Question is, how do I arrange myself to actually get there? Oh, well. Oh, one, whoops, one, two, three, we'd get it. Yep. So I'll take that. You don't take those off, though. No, I don't. It's quite right. <laughs> Sorry about that. That no messed words. up my move, though. Go ahead and bring the card up and put your crystal on it. So there you go. So yeah, folks can see the crystals. There you go. And draw and then, it there. And I need to go ahead. New take card. This out. No, 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 no. Oh, it's full. It's full. Right. Yeah. Yep. So that goes. And I two new cards. Two new cards. And three new crystals. One. Three. Okay. Uh, all right, so I saw, and I think I stick with the plan. I saw it. There it is. So we'll go one, two, that one. That's a good one. Yeah. Easy enough. And a new card. There we go. I'm not even looking up there. Mm. Two, three, less than or equal to three. Yep, checks mm -hmm. out. So, one, two, three, four, a whole row with uh, four or less. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole row. Yep. Oh, yeah, and we do add crystals, even though you didn't score. Ah, okay. One of those, okay. There we go. Oh, less. So that's not doable, and that's not doable. A butterfly themed so lunch. Easily doable. Okay, so we don't do. I don't know. I, I got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. I mean, we did watch the Bloomin' Onion thing last night. Is that, is that butterfly? Or a bloomed onion. Bloomed onion. Right, by uh, Chef John. By yes. Chef John. Food wishes. Which, by the way, if you guys like cooking, like I do, um, or eating, like Jess does, um, then uh, Food Wishes over on uh, YouTube Chef John. with Chef John. Really good. He's got a good dry sense of humor. Funny puns. His puns are, yeah. are very similar to our puns. He has our sense of humor. It was, he does. It's, hmm. it's great. And he, he made a baked bloom see. onion, which looked really tasty. Oh, it really, really did. I yep. really, really want to try that. Hmm, so both of those are going away, so I shouldn't even bother looking at those. Okay. Yeah. That's a good point. Yep. And I don't think I see a scoring opportunity at all. So I'm just really? going to do that and, okay. and uh, let it go. Yeah, I okay. didn't see one. I, I have well, I'm not going to spend too long looking because okay. it's not the game for that. Hmm. So three red and something that else. That one's full. So those that yellows, you've been told, get your yellows in. Uh, I have been informed that, but I am not there seeing... There are no ways of getting it, as far as I can see. Because I'd need at least two yellows in a square. Or a lot. Yes, or enough to get around five. Yes. But that's you five. You would need five, yeah. and that's one short, so that's not going to was right there with you. See, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three. Ah. Well, all right. all right. So let's see here, though. We have four, nine, four, nine, ten. It's only worth two points, though. But you know what two points is? Better than no points. So I can Indeed. book that one. I'm just going to see if that if I think that's possible, and I don't think it is quite yet. Don't so. My mode. Okay, that's fine. I'm good with that. So we're going to go... One, two, three, four. So if my math is right, five, 
11, 12, 13 right there, those three, boom, well done. done. So mm, good. that gets claimed. I'll hold on to that one there. Put some crystals out and take away that last card. Oh, yeah? Good and call. And replace it. That one goes. That makes me sad. All the three yellow butterflies go away. No. And no, you cannot just claim that because it exists. I figure that's implied. Yeah, we have. That. you have to yes. make a move to right. get a thing. Yep. Yep. You this has been here, there, and that was out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No, you cannot do that. All right, I can get that, but I really want to get the one with the two white crystals. That's three red and a yellow. You know, in two moves. <laughs> in many, many You could set it up for me. Now. Two red and a yellow. That is... No, three red. Anyway. Yeah, that's that's tough. Those two were swapped. Wait in. a minute. One, two, three, four, five. No, not quite enough. Yeah, you. I think you're one short, right? No, way, way more than one short to go up there. Um, one, two... This one's one short for that. Oh, to go around? Yeah. Um, oh, wow, wait, I should look at this. So less than four in that grid, and it's four points, and I can do such things. Yep. It's less than or equal yep. to, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so much better. So. Yep. So. Oh. Ooh. Yay. I saw that, but I wasn't going to point it out. <laughs> I was looking so, somewhere else. I didn't look else. at the new card. <laughs> so two or less on that one now. That's nice. Yeah, I'll just go with what I was gonna get. She's that one. Three reds and a blue. Uh, nothing wrong with that one. No, that was the one I was gonna go for, but and that one goes. Point difference. And obviously, if you run out of either deck, you can shuffle and and go there. Yep. Ooh. So the white crystals are worth more. White crystals are worth mm. more. I think I have to do that. I think so too. Uh, Clearly. I mean, yeah. obviously, right? It's got its the obvious move. Yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> there, claim that one. Okay. Four points. Yep. Yep. Martin didn't know he was going to be put to work when he mm. came over today, but thank you for doing so. That's okay. I can manage. Hey, uh, Finikusu. Fini Finikusu. So that's ten. One, two, three, four. But I can't get to 17. That's... That's a big number. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's this? No... Just, just as a quick reminder to everybody, you can also 14. orient it different, remember? Mm -hmm. So like something All right, like so that or whatever. All right, so I can get whatever. to 17. That's three. And that one's less than four <laughs> or equal to four in a whole thing. Mm, whole column or all less than That's not four. happening right now. Nope. Um, but I can get three down there or I can get, I mean, those are three too. So that one's six. Five is eleven. Please don't screw it up. Fourteen. <laughs> For me. <laughs> um, so that'll get to seventeen. And you it's just it interesting. Screw it around. For it to do that. <laughs> right. So that's seventeen, right? Four, five. Yep. I'll take that one. So what 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 did you see? Well, there's two yellows and a blue there. So getting the blue in there. Oh, okay. Would, uh, school and see, me. I I saw a way to do this. Oh, right. I hadn't seen that. Okay. And, and oh, wait. Minutes? That's five. Yeah, not no. Not four spaces. Check that. Okay. My it's bad. the whole My length. Bad. It was not My available. bad. My bad. I thought it was only four. Sorry. 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 So all I need is a plan B. Unfortunately, I have one. Two yellows and a red. Nicely done. That's a good one. Except just as well. Ugh. Yep, I'm going to stick with it. I can't claim this one now. I know. No. One, two, three, 
four. That's one way. Mm -hmm. There were multiple. <laughs> I was frustrating. Uh, ooh. There you go. Greater 21 than 21. Right, correct. That is oh, a lot. Three, that is a copious six, amount nine, of butterflies. 12. You got 14 right there. What do you call a grouping of butterflies? I think it's I don't know. Apple. Somebody will know. Yeah. All right, Herd. So how... No, four up there doesn't help. Three, six, nine, twelve. And 14. in case you guys are wondering, there are 36 scoring crystals in total. Okay. All right, that's not possible. Thanks, Franny. It's so tempting, though. Um, or less well, than three. Well, that's easy move enough. This up here. There you go. I'll keep the bag. There you go. That's better. Okay, well, that's super easy. So I can't get three. But what do we have up here? Those are all three, too. So I'll just stick with that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So that's three. Put three or, yep, yeah, checks out. Mm. Okay, so this one is in a cross pattern. They must all have the same number in all of them. Well, four points. Well, yes, Finakusu, pretty much. Um, yeah. That one for two. Nice. Mm -hmm. In Just in time. Yep, then that was yep, on those. Yep. Yep. Okay. yep. okay, I know I can get this one. Just at a glance. Sure. This is uh, out. Uh, Everybody wants the big one. Oh, that one's not bad either. Equal, equal. Got it. Really? I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one. Mm -hmm. Not what I thought you were going for. Oh, it Darn worked it. out. Hmm. Yep, that's, that's that's pretty much spot on. Finakusa. And now I feel ignorant that I didn't think of the like the actual name of the mechanism. It's just the Moncala, yeah. You spot on, Jess. Okay. One. Oh no. Darn it. Psych! Gar I'll start, Yes. Because it doesn't Oh no, I can do it. Just have to go the other way. One, two, three. One in each. A swarm of mm. butterflies. Yeah, that makes sense. The swarm. Okay. Also, uh, per Franny, a group of caterpillars is an army. Again, I mean, swarm and army. They sound so angry, but they're not. <laughs> know, right? Like that's not really. <laughs> and for those scoring at home, it looks like we have six crystals left. So we are quickly approaching the end. Take this one. Well, and now six more are going back in there. So yep. there's that. Yeah, I couldn't oh, see wow. how to All get those. Oh, wow, all three got two. wiped. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't see how to get either of those two more juicy cards. Well, that's 21 or more. So you want a lot. 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I would need six. I can get add five. That doesn't check out. Radio. Um, hmm. Well, I mean, you see that one. Do I do the obvious? Yeah, let's just do the obvious. Oh, wait. Check that. You got to move them both, Edward. There is that. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. 
Yeah. Wow, that, that becomes a whole lot less obvious. <laughs> I Should I do the, oh, there's no, okay. Okay, here we go. One, two, there. Okay, what new one is coming out? I got da, 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 da. Is it a big one? A one pointer. No. <laughs> I can't get to 21. I so want to. So that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, no 6 is getting in there right now. Uh, okay. Oh, I missed that, Gaurav. A group of butterflies is officially called a kaleidoscope. Too blue. Okay. No mind. Finally got some white crystals. Oh, there's a million ways of getting those three uh, dark crystals, but I'll just do that. <laughs> Woo! All right, yeah, all right. <laughs> Minimal effort for maximum reward, right. that's okay. me. Oh, and the, that one goes away oh, as well. Oh, yes, quite right. I would have preferred a clear crystal on that. Um... Two red and two blue, or a whole lot in a row. And I don't see the whole lot in a row happening, I don't think. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Still need six. Checks out. So, how can we mess with that to make sure nobody gets that while also Take trying to get the red and blue, right? So, two red and two blue. I need red ones. One, two, I need five. Nope. One, two, nope, four, nope. Oh, come on. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. One. And new card, sir. And apparently uh, this is the end of the game. All right. So Jess gets one more turn. Okay. And that's it. Still needs there, six. There, there. Can't there do you it. go. She got an extra Eight. go. Oh, she no. did. She did. <laughs> oh, I did. Yeah, because, sure. because, yeah, it just so happened that way, but yeah. Yep. Um, hey, Felix. So the 21's still out of reach. There's three points up there for two red. That seems like the way to go. So, one, two, three. That's that. All right, read them and weave. So I'm looking at. Like, Jess wins 26, Martin 24, <laughs> and yours truly, Amazing Teacher 23. So there you go. Good little lunchtime thinky filler. Um, and yeah, so uh, start with Martin. What do you think? Um, yeah, it's nice, light, easy to teach, agreeable. I don't think it's particularly thinky, but um, I didn't feel excited particularly but it was nice enough and it was you know past the time i could certainly imagine teaching this to somebody who wasn't into games or something like that it was just quick and easy to go with but i'm not enamored I'm not enamored it. okay um, i have to say we weren't sharks about it so right i've played this multiple times and playing with rainer and having him show you the game He's really good. There's ways to block moves um, yes. that we didn't do a lot of. So because you're only achieving your goal with that last one, you can make it so that it's just impossible for somebody along the way to get something else. Um, so we didn't do a lot of that. So it can have take that if you want it. And then I do like, I think we did play before with being able to grab both. Right. That was super fun, but it can slow it down. Because so, of AP, because you're like, okay, mm -hmm. I can get this, but can I also manage it to where I also mm. get that? It adds the length of the game. Um, I would say that the other thing that uh, is only when you claim 
gathering cards, do you add the crystals? Um, makes it a little bit longer as well, uh, yes. the advanced variant talking about. It that. does. And so I would introduce it to somebody new to gaming or who hasn't played it before, playing it this way, the way we just did. But right. after that, I would probably always play with the you don't put those crystals out or wipe until adds mm -hmm. a little bit of time. And then that doubling up really makes it thinky. But also, like, I'm not super great at abstract. I, I struggle with it. So... Uh, for me, making myself move fast and then just trying to see things, uh, it helps me with that. <laughs> Work on that skill I don't have. Yep. No, I hear you. And for me, it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's very simple. It's very basic. It's one mechanism at its core, boiled down and with a little bit of, of uh, I think, uh, who was it? Uh, Fenikusu mentioned that uh, with pattern matching, right? Yeah, it's Red Mancala with, him, uh, and I yeah, like right. Mancala a lot. I actually enjoy that game. No, I think I, it's really I, fun. I, I so, like Trajan, which uses that as the main mechanism yeah. for, for that as well. And I do mm -hmm. as well. Um, and I struggle with abstracts and spatial yeah. a, uh, games as well. So this, I tend to, like water, find the easiest path. And I don't know that that's always the best way to play it. Mm. But, but yeah, having played this with Rainer uh, a couple of times. It was tough. <laughs> it can get nasty. Yeah. It really can as far as when you get somebody that is a bit of a shark and not only helping himself but blocking what you can mm. do. Um, it can be a far more competitive game. It, it's like, like how Carcassonne can get really blocky. Yes, when, exactly. Particularly when people yeah, yeah. memorize all the combinations of the yes. tiles and they can actually, oh, well, I can place this here and I know there's no more tiles in the in the bag for you to complete But even that without spot. that, even if you haven't memorized, you can still yeah. know, I'm going to make this at least more difficult for right. you because yes. there's going to be less available right. tasks. So it's there if you want it to be there. Yes. But again, and the whole idea with the lunchtime streams to begin with was the fact that Hey, get your coworkers in the game, yep. yes. right? Potentially, pretty artwork, the whole nine yards. It's and draw simple. them to the table. It, it, it's not a really hard game. I get that, but for a lunchtime, um, we've been streaming it with a full teach, talking, interacting with minutes. chat, forty-five yeah. minutes. So you yep. can so do fit this that in. and eat your chicken wrap and mac salad as well, right? Yep, and all that. So mission accomplished, I would say, with that. So there you go. Available from Board and Dice. Check yes. it out if you are so inclined. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Support the show over on PledgeHC.com. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for the weekend. We'll be back uh, Monday, 11 o'clock, with the weekly look ahead. Um, we got a couple, a couple of oldies but goodies. One mm. very popular. One I think overlooked. Uh, heavy economic market manipulation game. So there's a little bit of a teaser coming for you guys. There. Check it out. All right. We'll together with historically, arguably, the greatest board game of the Euro game era. According to Martin. Well, I've said arguably. <laughs> you did. You can make an argument for it. Yes. Yeah. So. so, there you go. <laughs> that should be fine. So, check it out Monday at 11. Other than that, y'all have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay cool out there because it's really, really hot here in the Boston area. Other than that, I'm Edward. I'm Jess. And I'm Martin. You guys have a wonderful Rest of your weekend. We'll see you all on Monday. Take care, everybody. Bye.